In this video, we'll make a circular cage pendant. Click on Create Torus, and then click on the vertical plane. Click on an origin point, and then type a diameter. I typed about 25 millimeters. And I'm going to make the torus diameter a bit thinner than the default. Now click Create, Pattern, and Circular Pattern. Click on the torus. Click on Select. Click on the vertical axes. And then click how many copies you wanted. I made seven copies. Click OK to finish. And there it is. Now we need a loop to hang this pendant by. So let's make another torus. Click on the horizontal plane, and then click a center and a diameter again. And once again, I'm going to make the torus diameter thinner than the default. Right click on it, choose Move, rotate this torus 90 degrees, and then move it into place. Push it into the cage a bit, but not enough to protrude. And now combine all the parts. Click on Combine, click on the loop, select the whole cage, click Join, and click OK. And all the parts are now welded together. As you can see, when you right click and choose move, they all move together. So let's export it as an STL now. Right click on its name, click on Save as STL. I'm accepting the defaults. Name it, click Save. And now you've got an STL file. Here it is under construction. I used ColorFab Bronze Fill. The temperature was 210 centigrade, and I used a 40% infill. I added a bead when it was developed enough to add one. Had I waited for the cage to develop further, I could have added a larger bead. There's the top under construction. And there's the loop under construction. And there you have it. This needs to be tumbled or wire brushed to look like bronze.